Evening, Grandpa. Know what day it is? Does it matter? They're all the same in this hellhole. Of course it matters. It's only the most romantic day of the year. Happy Valentine's from Mima. But don't worry, that's not your only gift. Chocolate-covered strawberries? Oh, oh, no. Something much sweeter. A way out of here for the four of us. I made it by myself in arts and crafts. They wouldn't let me use scissors, of course, so I had to improvise. Oh, <laughs> you're all hard. Don't you forget it. You're gonna owe me huge when we blow this joint. Speaking of we, who's the fourth? Esme's baby, duh. You're really gonna have to work on your grandfathering skills when we hit the road. We'll have plenty of time for that. Sounds like you have it all figured out. Down to the very last detail. And our daughter's on board? You know, you never even mentioned how beautiful the door. Esme doesn't know, does she? Quite the handy one-handed man, aren't you? <laughs> Esme will be told when the time is right. Now, can we please just leave the family spats for the road trip? Road trip? Did I stutter? Every law enforcement agency from here to Alaska will be looking for us. Yeah, but they'll be looking for three escaped fugitives, not a happy family cruising in an RV listening to the radio. Can you picture it? No. Why are you being so negative? Because Esme has kind of outgrown a baby seat. Oh, we'll be needing one of those for the RV. She's an adult pregnant woman who's lost her memory. Do you really think she's gonna let you throw her into the back of an RV? Your pretty little head about it. You're the one who said, I've already got it all figured out. Then tell me the plan. You can't be too careful, especially with that detective and his girlfriend trying to track down Esme's nanny. In your condition, I doubt you're gonna be the one doing the driving, so why don't you just Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. 